Miley Cyrus is putting the governor of Indiana on blast this week, and we have got the full breakdown. So truth be told, Miley Cyrus might not be the most politically active celebrity here in Hollywood, but if you mess with people she cares about or an issue that's close to her heart, she will have absolutely zero problem calling you out publicly to her millions of fans. And before I jump into this story, I just wanna say kudos to her for using her voice and her influence here because this is a very important issue that all of us, me, you, the world, we all need to be aware of. So first up, let's talk about just the facts. So today, the governor of Indiana, Mike Pence, signed into law Senate Bill 101 that prohibits state or local governments from substantially burdening a person's ability to exercise their religion unless the government can show that it has a compelling interest and that the action is the least restrictive means of achieving it. So just quick translation here for you guys. This law will allow business owners in Indiana to deny services to gays and lesbians if they say that it's for their own religious reasons. Okay, so now let's just talk about Miley Cyrus. Miley hit Instagram yesterday to share this photo of Governor Pence with a caption that read, quote, you're an Governor Pence, the only place that has more idiots than Instagram is in politics. Then she went on to thank her brother Brayson for standing up for this cause, adding, quote, we need more strong heterosexual men fighting for equality. Following Miley's post on Instagram, hashtag Boycott Indiana began trending online, and even Hillary Clinton spoke out via Twitter to say this, sad this new Indiana law can happen in America today. We shouldn't discriminate against people because of who they love. Larry King also tweeted out to say, Indiana's anti-gay religious freedom bill signed by Governor Pence is absurd and insulting. This is 2015, ridiculous. And then Ashton Kutcher tweeted out to say this, which is one of my favorites. Indiana, are you going to allow Christian establishments to ban Jews from coming in or vice versa? Religious freedom, hashtag outrage. Outrage, I could not have put it better. So like I said, this is an issue that we all need to be informed about and to be just 100% clear with everybody, I'm not personally a political expert in any way, shape or form, but we are in the year 2015. And while I think that we should all value our freedom to practice religion, which I know I personally value more than anything else in my own life, it is absolutely preposterous to exploit the importance of religious freedom to discriminate against people. I mean, how is this different than any other forms of discrimination in this country's past? And how is this okay? And guess who else doesn't think this is okay? The NCAA. The final games in the college basketball tournament are set to be played in Indiana, but now the NCAA president, Mark Emmert, is issuing the organization's concern as to how this legislation could affect student athletes and employees. And also for the record, other massive companies have already threatened to take their business outside of the state of Indiana. So there you guys have it. Now I would love to hear from you. What are your personal thoughts on this situation? Hit us up in the comment section, then click right over here to get some more Miley Cyrus scoop. I'm Jocelyn Davis at Clever Headquarters. Have a great weekend. And why not kick off your weekend by clicking to the left for a new episode of Drama King and then clicking to the right for an episode of Totally Clever.